Further discussion, members? Yes, Representative Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Before I start, may I um, ask for permission to submit written comments? So ordered. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I contemplated on standing up today because I stood up on Wednesday. See, three days ago, very few people knew me. And after I stood up on this floor on Wednesday and spoke, and I can't tell you what I said because I didn't write it down. I just spoke. I became blasted. When you talk about body blows and coming out with battle wounds and scars, anybody sitting or standing on this floor is not going to take what I'm going to take. But you know, Mr. Speaker, I think I was put on this path for some reason, and I'm not going to ask why. I was approached by two representatives yesterday. Joe, just WR. You know, Mr. Speaker, I can't. Because as I told you on Wednesday, I have to be impeccable with my word and I can't go back now. I'm sorry to say with a heavy heart, it's still in opposition. I expressed my reasons why on Wednesday and they still stand firm. I am not comfortable with SB1, HD1. It is not balanced legislation in my opinion. I cannot rise up benefits with the possibility of eroding religious protections and freedom of conscience. You see, Mr. Speaker, again, I'm, I'm not held to any sp specific conviction. But I do have certain beliefs that I hold near and dear. And in this process, I have been shown so much love by a community I thought hated me. And I found so much hate in a community that I thought embraced me. See, Mr. Speaker, I have no hate for them. And I thank the people that have sent me emails. It's great support. I just want to share with you one from a pastor on a, on a church in Maui. And I think this speaks volumes. He says, thank you for your help. Thank you for helping me to find hope in our government, the process, and humanity. I hope that you will continue to be a bridge between the church and the LGTB community. I believe that there is a great di division between the LGBT community and the churches of Hawaii. It may be God's calling on your life to help us to bridge and break down those barriers. And pre preconceived ideas of who gay people are. Dis Despite my sexual orientation, Mr. Speaker, you have displayed courage and integrity. You are breaking down stereotypes in my mind, according to this pastor, and I just needed to tell you that I honor, appreciate, and respect you. I want to thank that pastor, 
Mr. Jonathan. And I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to take this journey. I thank my community for allowing me to stand here and their great support because it was a rough day yesterday, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I heed my rising number two. Sure. Thank you very much to the representative from the 43rd District. Mr. Speaker, I don't know what's going to happen. And frankly, I'm here to do my duty. I will always uphold my duty. And I'm sorry for the GLTB community. I walked in this, this place three years ago asking my community, I don't want to be the poster child. I've become the poster child. And I accept that. I ran into a lady in the hall yesterday while I was here. And they just wanted to thank me. I didn't know who she was. She was in those five-day hearings. And I've met so many new people. And she told me this one quote. And I wrote it down. And I'm going to end with this quote. Character in crises are not made, but revealed. And I think I'm beginning to understand my character and my integrity. And I will always stand by it. And I appreciate my House members that have stood by me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All right, thank you very much. All right, members, members, we've been very tolerant of you. Please, uh, please respect the body here. Okay, uh, representative.